Hello and welcome to Mini Shop's How to Sculpt videos with myself, Elizabeth. Today we're going to be making a cute little highland calf. Okay, to get started you'll need some clay and some tools. You can use any sort of clay, Play-Doh or polymer, but I use Sculpey clay and these are the colors I'll be using. There's a color called Potter's Clay, I believe, that it is a Sculpey clay. We'll need a little bit of a red color, some white and some black. You also need a potter's needle or toothpicks work great, as you can see. An X-Acto knife or a butter knife. A silicone dowel tool with a ball end. I've got those linked below. Or you can use a pen tip and I've got these tools as well. You also need a little bit of tin foil and some sort of mat to work on so you don't get the clay on whatever sh surface you're working on. I've just got some parchment paper here. All right, let's get started. Take a little bit of tin foil, about as much as the top of your thumb, and squish it into a ball, but kind of an oval. Okay, now we're going to take our potter's clay and warm it up. You see as it breaks like this, that means that it's just cold and you want it to be smooth when you mix it like this. So a smooth kind of like, like that, so that it doesn't crack in the oven. All right, we're going to take about as much as this little piece of tin foil, roll it into a ball like this. fingers and then we're going to flatten it. Keep flattening it and then take that tin foil and set it in the center of this pancake you've made. Then fold the clay over like so and smooth those lines that we've created. Okay, now that you have that you're going to take a little bit of clay, about a third as much as you just took, roll it into a ball, like this, and then you are going to set that right here, like that, and smooth that into your oval with your fingers. Like so, kind of flattening it as you go, evening it out. All right, so now it's like this. Okay, what we're going to do now is take our potter's needle and make kind of a little X in the middle of the face right above where it starts to slope up and right in the middle. And then we're going to add two dots like this. Take our silicone dowel tool and add indents like so. Okay, then we're going to take a little bit of clay, about this much, roll it into an oval, slender oval, and set that right down the center. Smooth it in, like so. All right. It's okay if those holes get smushed a little bit. They're just there for reference at the moment. But, now we are going to take this red clay and mix it with some white clay. Just a little bit of white clay actually. Like this and a little bit of our orange or our potter's clay. Mixing the three colors together. This will be the nose of our cow. All 
All right, once you've come to a color that you're satisfied with, you're going to take about this much C and roll it into a ball, making sure that it's nice and smooth. And you're going to roll it into an oval and you're going to press that down very carefully and then slightly tap the sides like that. And you're going to set that out here on your cow like so. And then if it's too big, as you can see mine is, you can take some clay off and redo it. Most of the time I have to redo the size of things like this. It just takes a little bit of time and practice to get it right. Okay. Now that we have that, we're going to take just a little bit of clay and add the lower layer. You can make your cow mooing with its mouth open, or you can make its mouth shut, whatever you want to do. Then we are going to take our silicon dowel tool and make indents on the sides, like this, on both sides. I flipped it upside down because I wanted this angle to go inward. And I can't do it like this unless I reach around like that. That's just a little trick. Okay, now that we have the nose, let's re-indent those eyes. All right, set that guy down for a moment. And we're going to grab some black clay. Take about as much clay as you took for the bottom lip. warm it up and then we're going to split it into two. Roll those into two balls and set them into those sockets here. Now if they're too big, again like mine are, you can pull a little bit of clay off set it to the side, split it in two again, and then roll them and redo. Also, another thing you can do is make the indents like this, just a little bit deeper. Set the eye in and the other one which might be too big still okay it is okay there we go all right now we are going to take some clay and give our cow some definition. Okay. We're going to take about this much clay and roll it out. And then we are going to put a little eyebrow on it like that and pull it off. We're going to put an eyebrow on the other side. You're going to start the eyebrow or the this brow a little bit above like that so that it doesn't look angry and pull it off and then we can add some cheeks by adding some clay right here adding some clay here so, and then I'm going to add a little bit more to this side right there. Okay, 
Also, now I'm going to take some more clay and make a few little swoops for its cow hair. Like this. And like this. Okay, once you have all those, we can take our silicone dowel tool and smooth everything in. Like so. I like to use this tool in the corners because it's too big. I mean, my fingers are too big for those little spaces. And I have smaller tools as well, but in these tutorials I'm trying to use tools that everyone might have around. Okay. As we're getting to the end of smoothing these in, next we'll be adding a little bit more clay and the ears. So don't worry if your cow isn't looking perfect yet and there's no such thing as perfect so there are, that's okay. All right. We'll do this. There we go. We'll set him down. Take about as much clay as you did for the head. Split it into two. And roll those into balls. And we're going to make little teardrop shapes and flatten them. And set them on the side of your cow. These are a little too big for my cow, so I'll just pull some off, like so. Take the silicone dowel and indent right in the center. And then smooth the back into the back of the head so that it stays put. And it may take a few tries to get your ear just right. You can also add a little bit more. You can move the ear as you want. I kind of like to compare it to photos of cows normally, but since I'm videoing on my phone, I just have this cow to compare it to. If you want to look at photos of Highland cows while you're doing this, that's fun. That would be a cool way to look at the features and see which, which features you want to add. We'll do the same with the other ear. Adding it. Now the ear, you'll see is just below, or the eye, it's just above the bottom of the eye, like that. And we can indent it. Also, if it's too big still, pull a little bit off. And then indent it again. Smoothing it out, okay, pressing it all together, like so. Now I think I need to add some more clay to my cow. This happens often, I might need to just keep adding and keep adding clay until it looks the way that you would like it. I'm going to add some clay to the side here to Get rid of that little divot. And to the side here, like so. Add some clay to the bottom. All right, look at this guy again. 
add some more clay to the side. You don't have to do this if your cow, you like the way your cow is. But I'm just thinking mine needs a little bit more in some places. Okay, so it needs more eyebrow. Sometimes when I go to make a how-to video, I forget how to make some of the parts, so I remember as I'm making it. Okay. Just adding clay and adding clay. This is the way I sculpt, is by adding clay, rather than starting from one block of clay and taking it away like carving-wise. Okay, once you have your cow kind of how you would like it, you can add a body. Now you can either make your cow as a magnet or you can make it as a freestanding figurine. To do that, you'll need to take about four times as much clay, I mean tin foil as you did for the head, and squish it into an oval, like so lining it up to see if that's about how much you want. And then you're going to take about half as much clay, warm it up, flatten it as needed, like so. And then set this clay, this tin foil into the center and fold it over. Like so we can also add some more clay if you, there's not enough. Like that. Kind of press it together to make sure I don't know if the video is picking it up, but my tummy has been grumbling. So I'm sorry if you can hear it. But if not, then I'm just a little crazy. It's okay. Okay, see that's about the right shape. Now we want to take a toothpick and snap it about a fourth of the way down. Take our potter's needle, put a little indent in the front, and then Put our toothpick in there. Take a little bit of clay, because we want our cow to have a neck. Make it like this. Kind of roll it into a thick snake. And then set it on there. And then put our cow head on. Like so. If it doesn't go in right away, you can take and hold your cow from these two sides so that you don't squish the face. Take your potter's needle or another toothpick and just slowly twist back and forth and press. That'll make the hole go in further. Like that. Okay. Now that we have that, you can make your cow looking one side or the other, or just having it looking straight on. Now we're going to smooth in all this clay, like so. Smoothing it all in, and filling the clay in where it's needed. where that indent is. You can fill it with some clay. Oy, oy, oy. I must need some breakfast. Or more than a mango. Okay, then you can take some more clay and make its chest. Because cows have big, strong, chest and shoulders. You can 
add some clay like that. Smooth it in. And then I'm just, while this guy's, while it's here, I'm going to smooth this clay into his face. Because I want to make sure the face is right, or we want to make sure the face is right before we start changing the body too much. So just adjusting these lines so that they're not too far out or too evident. And then kind of you can swoop the calyx again. Okay. Now that we have that, I'll show you how to make the legs. Take some toothpicks and stick them in and see how far they need to go to make the legs about that big. So the leg is about as tall as from the head to the chest. So we break it off there and then in the back as well, like so. And then this, just making them all kind of even, you can set it on here and see. All right. Now take some more clay, roll it into a ball, and then a cylinder. Take this toothpick out and stick it into the center. Like that. Okay, now take off the excess clay, like so, and do that, and do that for all four sides. If you hear some walking around, <laughs> it's because my studio is attached next to a barn that my husband is feeding the alpacas in. Okay, now that we have that, I will show you. You can do the back legs on your own, so I will just show you how to do the tail. Take a little bit of clay, roll it out like this, and then add it like that. To make the chest bigger, you can always add more clay. But so this video doesn't run too long, I will show you how to texture your calf. Before doing that, we can add the sparkle to the eye by taking your potter's needle, taking a little bit of clay, and attaching it to the eye, like so. And then to the other eye, like so. We've got two sparkles. All right. Now that we have this, I'll quickly show you how to make the hoof, which is adding some white clay to that red clay that we used for the snout or the nose. And then mixing it. Splitting it in two, or into however many. Rolling a ball, setting it down here on both, on all four actually. And then 
taking our potter's needle and indenting like so. Okay, now I will show you how to make our texture with this silicone dowel tool. We're going to pull around, make this cow a little fluffy, like a newborn baby cow. Pulling it all around, like so. This is the texture that we're going to add to the entire body. And down the neck. Can make it in just a few little swoops, or you can use this tool as well. Swooping to one side, and then swooping to the other. Swooping, 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 like so. I'll make a video in the future of more textures that I do, or how to do them. And that'll go more into depth of how to do these different textures. But as you can see, he's starting to take shape, this little guy. Beginning his little fuzzy, fuzzy hair. And then, once you've finished texturing the body or the face, I often start with the face and then I get a little impatient, so then I move to the body, etc. It just takes patience. So, you can see how it's going to turn out, but we can take our potter's needle. And you see how on this one I've got some, it looks like hair. We're going to go inside each of the swoops and texture a tiny bit, like so. Make it look like it's got hairs. Just adding little, t you can just pull ever so slightly. And if you want, you can practice this on a different piece of clay before you go to the little calf. Remember to have these edges follow whatever swoop you've made. That just makes it look a little more realistic. A little more like it's a soft newborn calf. All right, I'll show you a little bit more. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, like and subscribe to see more. And this guy will bake in an oven at 275 for 15 minutes. If you want to add little eyebrows, you can just make a small indent right there, like that. And like that. The baking time is if you have Sculpey clay, but if not, just read your package. I would love to see the photos of your cows. I bet they are so cute. You can tag me my mini shop account or you can message me. And just keep texturing away. And it's just as needed. And don't forget, when you're on, when you're done, you can sign on the bottom. Mini shop for mine, but you can come up with some fun signature. All right, guys. I hope you have fun. Hope you have fun continuing to texture your cow. And have a great day. Bye.